Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech and iOS 11.3 is the latest version of iOS that we're thinking about updating to. iOS 12 should be out sometime later this year in September for the public anyway. And 11.3 is just around the corner or it's out depending on when you're watching this. And I've been running it on my iPhone 10 and iPhone 7 plus. And I've asked many of you how it's been on your previous devices. I've done some follow-up videos and this particular version seems pretty solid. Most of you, especially on the older versions, are seeing much improved speeds, better battery life, and just an overall better experience. Now that's not true of every single person, but one of the things they've done that's huge for older iPhones, meaning seven plus or older or seven or older, is battery monitoring. And that battery monitoring is specific to the older phones and what that means is if you go into your settings go to battery you now have battery health and battery health will let you see what your health of your battery is in this case it's 93 percent on the 7 plus now once it falls below 80 percent it will start to throttle the phone or slow it down because it doesn't have enough voltage to provide the peak performance of the phone now if it's not doing that you'll have the option to actually perform at peak performance and risk maybe the phone shutting off or you can have it throttled and then get the battery replaced at a later date for $30 from Apple or you can do it at a third party place but for $30 from Apple and you'll get all your performance back because they were somewhat caught with the throttling and at the same point explained what they were doing they were able to give us an option to actually bring the performance of the older phones back up to what they've been or should have been all along. So for the older versions, I would recommend this, especially if you're on iOS 11 and newer. So iOS 11.2.6, I would definitely say yes, upgrade. If you're on an iPhone 10, uh, definitely upgrade since you probably already have it or an eight and eight plus, uh, definitely. But if you're on the older phones, say maybe even back to a 5S or an SE, uh, if you're on iOS 11, there's no harm in upgrading unless you're going to do something like jailbreak later and you may not have that option. However, if you're on something uh, that's on iOS 10 or earlier, that's really going to be up to you whether or not you want to do that because once you go forward, you can't go back. So this particular version on 7 for me has been really good. Battery has been great. And because this is over a year old, I expect some of the degradation of the battery. They wear out over time and it will slow down. Now, of course, you're going to get new features and things, especially on the iPhone 10, but new features with the with the latest versions, new security updates. So I always recommend it. And with this time, you should get your performance back as well. So I definitely recommend it. Uh, for some of you, you've told me that on some of the 6 or 6S devices, it hasn't been great in the beta, but the final version, if it's not out right now, will be out probably this week, and I think it will be great. But let me know if you've upgraded already, if you're running the beta software or you're running an older version, I'd love to hear from you as well. Let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, it's linked in the description below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.